r slash ask reddit people who switched sides in a highly divided community political religious pizza topping debate what happened that changed your mind how did it go i used to be dead set against marijuana legalization why do we need another legal intoxicant when the one we already have causes so much harm this will allow easier access for underage users will lead to an overall increase in drug use blah blah i then came to a pretty sudden realization that in jurisdictions where marijuana has been legalized there has been a significant harm reduction and drop in other illegal drug uses for example meth opiate users report switching to legal pot underage use has not spiked and the numbers of people who say they are drug users has not increased in the end Actual data ruined my previous certainty about what I thought I knew. Now I just need a I flip flop t-shirt. Grew up in the rural conservative Midwest. Raised in a family where God was everything. Dated a girl who, along with her family, also continued those sentiments. Religion never really clicked for me but I went along with it because that's the community and why wouldn't I? Everybody I cared about was religious. Might as well. That changed when my then girlfriend's older brother, members of the church, and her parents organized an intervention for my then Jill friend. They told her they were worried about my soul because I listened to non-religious music and liked D&D and fantasy movies and blah blah blah. I was only 17 at the time and it felt like my biggest sin was liking punk music and R-rated movies and being that I was in such a small community. I felt pretty hurt and personally attacked. So I brought it up to the pastor at the, only, church in town and he sided with the intervention. Hand waving away my concerns. That pretty much ended my relationship with the church. The girl. And the community. Got out of there. Moved to a bigger town. Met new people. New friends. Haven't looked back. I was raised to believe homosexuality was unnatural. I grew up around homophobic people so I naturally hated gay people myself. The first time I encountered a gay person in public I laughed and made horrible jokes about how he talked. Guess who turned out gay? Toilet paper over or under. I used to be in the DGAF camp until I realized under was Satan's work. Over all the way now. I used to be against nuclear power. So I then decided to research it for school and it turned out it might be the best we've got until renewable resources get further in their development. I don't think it's the best long term. But I don't think it's the devil no more. My parents who were green waivers during the 70s are very mad at me for this. Used to be extremely anti-vaccination. Now quite in favor. What changed my mind? I had a baby and had to make that decision for someone other than myself. I dove into the research and did a lot of soul searching. It was really just a problem with ignorance on my part. We are all fully vaccinated now. Edit. Wow thanks for my first reddit golds. Guys. The real gold is making sure we are part of the solution. Though. I'm really grateful we woke up and made a good decision for the health of our child and our community. We still get backlash about it from my anti-vaccine laws so your support means a lot. I used to think programming was dumb and computers were ridiculous for not being more intuitive. Then I spent 11 years working with people and realized they're worse. Now I'm stressed and can't remember how to program anymore. After years and years of doubt I went to the museum that had a detailed exhibit on evolution and decided that was the last straw and officially left the religion 3 days ago. As a result I am now being shunned by almost every single person I have known for the last 32 years. Why a why? Edit. Since I'm at work and can't reply to everyone quite yet here's a few answers to common questions. I was a Jehovah's Witness and now I'm agnostic. No interest in religion. This wasn't the only problem I had with the organization. Once I started researching I found tons of things I disagree with. I do realize that other religions do believe in evolution. But JWs do not. The museum and exhibit was Evolving Planet at the Field Museum in Chicago. I used to hate country but then I discovered the banjo and bluegrass and turns out what I hate is modern country. Sturgill Simpson is an exception. I left the Mormon church. I knew there were plenty of problems. But I ignored them until I had my daughter. Decided that I could choose to face the problems head on. 
but didn't want to make that choice for my daughter. Especially since the church is full of sexism and patriarchy. It went far better than expected. My wife left with me after several months of open conversation. I am happier. Healthier and more optimistic about the future than when I was burdened down with that orthodox religion. I used to be a Sunni Muslim then became a Shia Muslim. Now I believe in no institutionalized religion and I would consider myself an agnostic. GMOs. I used to feel that they were unnatural and therefore bad. After getting a chemistry degree and spending a lot of my personal time studying food science. As well as working on farms and gardening. I think that genetic solutions to farming can be great. I still think that big farming is rife with horrible practices. And some companies exploit GMOs and patents on GMOs to the detriment of humanity. But I can no longer subscribe to the GMOs equals evil point of view. Used to love the original Star Wars trilogy. Then I went to Opera Quellmums. I grudgingly accepted Chicago Pizza as pizza after having Giordano's. Back east all we get is you knows. In terms of deep dish FFS not in terms of pizza as a whole. Which is garbage. I used to be a neo-Nazi sympathizer. Realized I was trans and am a radical leftist now. Self-hate is a powerful thing. After spending time in Chicago. I have come to accept that Chicago deep dishes. In fact. Very good. I still do not accept that it is pizza. But it's very good. Wisconsin had an election in 2006 where a ballot item called referendum 1 would decide whether marriage between a man and a woman would constitutionally be the only legal form of marriage accepted and allowed in Wisconsin. It passed with 59% of the voters voting yes and the state constitution was amended. I voted yes. Shortly afterward. I started thinking. A lot. I started to realize that many of my friends were gay and I was friends with their partners. They were happy. They adopted kids. They volunteered for the fire department. They were nurses. I started realizing that their homosexuality didn't define their being. I was foolish and ashamed. By 2011. I deeply regretted how I voted. Who was I to judge how people were supposed to live their lives and who they could marry? Within a 5 year period of time. I completely changed my mind. A new movement to get the amendment ruled unconstitutional was formed and I found myself supporting the the group. In mid-2015, the US Supreme Court declared the referendum was illegal. When I was young I thought paying taxes was like theft. One day I looked around and realized how expensive society is. From road to a fire hydrant to the plumbing to get water to the hydrant to the machines and labor it takes to dig holes for the pipes and the engineers who plan it and the people who order the stuff and so on and so on. Then I was like I guess a few thousand a year for everything around me is getting off easy. I'm a conservative and used to be really homophobic until I realized I live in a country founded on personal freedoms and we shouldn't decide whoever the fuck someone wants to marry. Still a conservative but couldn't give two shits if you are gay or not. I used to think that it was awful that people ever died. Or wanted to die. Or wanted to abort a pregnancy. I thought that it was normal and natural to want to fight for every last moment. Every last breath. Even if it wasn't quite great. Then I got into medicine and nursing. Now I understand how valuable death is in life. How important it is that we have that choice and that option. There truly are some times where the life you are living is truly awful suffering. And it's cruel to expect people to continue on with it. It's cruel to ask a mother to give birth to a baby that will die. Or to risk her life for one that isn't even more than a few cells. It's cruel to ask somebody who will never move again to continue living that way just so we don't feel bad. Death is important sometimes. It saves us from when life goes very very bad. Edit. Thanks for all the upvotes and thoughtful replies. Edit 2. Obligatory thanks for gold. You're very kind. I hate Daniel Craig as Bond. Brosnan had always been the perfect Bond in my mind. Probably because I grew up with him. I refused to watch all movies with Craig until I saw him in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I liked that so much that I gave his Bond movies a chance. Now he's my favorite by a distance. I used to think it was reasonable to expect men to put the toilet seat up and down as needed. 
Then somebody on Reddit posted a long and heartfelt comment about the relative effort expended on lifting and lowering and how it would be more fair if men lifted the seat to use it and women put it back down to use it. I subsequently decided that the best way to keep toilet use fair, aesthetically pleasing, and hygienic, and, of course, unlikely to lead to sleepy women falling into the toilet bowl in the middle of the night, was for everyone close the lid of the toilet after every use. That way, women have to remember to lift and lower something as well. And the toilet looks nice. And the dog won't drink out of it. And we get extra protection from aerosolized biological waste being flung onto our toothbrushes. The result has mostly been that I think everyone who flushes their toilet without closing the lid first is a barbarian. But the guys I date appreciate my even handedness. While this is not necessarily a huge disease risk. It is possible. HTTPS colon slash slash www.ncbi.nlm dot net dot gov slash pmc slash articles slash pmc 4692156 slash fishing i used to a very avid catch and release angler fished with some of the best was in a few magazines etc etc i started to look a bit closer as to what i was doing how many fish survive after catching and releasing them and came to the conclusion that though it's fun for me, at the time, it probably wasn't all that much fun for the fish. My regular group of fishing friends who were a fun and very talented. Norlogable bunch. Mostly conservation minded guys just couldn't understand my change of heart. I now fished only to keep. Which they though was wrong but I never over harvested and always kept to the limits allowed or just a couple for supper. Freezer. Whatever. I'm not sure what changed my mind but I just started feeling bad about how I was hurting another living being for nothing more than essentially bragging rights and my own pleasure. Uh, cilantro. I absolutely could not stand the soap-like flavor for 20 plus years. Entire stalks slapped on my tie entrees. Bits in the guacamole. Haunted my dreams and damn near ruined Thanksgiving one year. Then one day. Like magic. The soapy fog lifted. I have no idea what happened. I absolutely love the stuff now. I've pretty much stopped using straws. I know it sounds stupid and small. But the plastic pollution stuff is getting to me and I am not a green type of person at all. So it's a big deal to me if for nothing else than personal growth. As time goes on. And pretty much every time I take out the trash. I'm reminded of how utterly wasteful everything is. Baby steps I guess. Edit. It's worth mentioning that I mean I've stopped using straws in restaurants and such. I don't use them at home. I used to study chemistry, a real science, and laugh at geologists, fake science. Hated, and failed, chemistry and now I am studying geology. It's absolutely fascinating. Definitely a real science. And I really care about the subject matter. I was trapped at home after school. Mum and dad were both dead. And I was looking after my siblings. It was a small community. And I was bored out of my skull. Angry at the world for my crippling responsibility, and honestly not being a very good brother. Truth be told. Then the world's most handsome dude moved in next door. Not gonna lie. The initial interest was purely physical. But after some flirting and a bit of back and forth. He started mentioning his politics. Apparently he was kicked out of his last place because of his extremists racial views. Being young. Dumb. And in love I absolutely ate it up. We actually started planning actions that would hopefully lead to a coup. And a, well purge is a strong word. Anyway. I stopped thinking so blatantly racist and started actively fighting that shit after he and I got in a fight with my brother. We accidentally killed my sister. Now I'm the headmaster of a prominent boarding school. And try as hard as I can to stamp that sort of thing out when they are still young. If you want to get nothing in return, you can like and join my discord, there is a link in the description.